What's up everyone? John Ranger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the brand new 7th generation iPod Nano. This guy got a complete redesign. It's now running an iOS-esque interface. It's got Bluetooth, all kinds of cool stuff built in. Let's go ahead, check it out. All right, so here is the 7th generation iPod Nano. It's available in six colors, black, purple, blue, silver, green, yellow, pink, and red. And we've got the red version here. It's product red, so a small portion of the profits go to benefit AIDS research. Uh, same price though for any of these guys, no matter what color you get, uh, 149 bucks, 16 gigabytes. All right, let's go ahead and open her up. We'll pull the tab. Tab is being pulled. And it should just open up. And here is the iPod Nano. Push it off to the side for just a quick second. See what else we're going to have in the box. We've got this thing. I think it's probably about product red. Yep, yeah, product red partner. Give you a portion of your nano proceeds to the global fund to fight AIDS in Africa. Hello, quick start guide. We've got a lightning cable in here, uh, since this guy does use lightning, and they include a pair of ear pods. Uh, does not have any sort of microphone in here though, uh, obviously. So push that off to the side. Let's see if it's got any sort of inline control though. Nope, so no sort of control uh, on here to control your songs. But Apple did sort of make up for that uh, by including controls on the side of the iPod. So let me go ahead and pop this guy out. And here is the iPod Touch. Screen doesn't seem to work though. Must have had a busted unit. No, just kidding. All right, peel off the plastic here somehow. Oh, of course, there's a handy tab for it. And boom, it looks like a mini iPod Touch. Uh, it's got a home button and everything. All kinds of fancy running a custom OS. Let's go ahead and boot it up, see if it's got any power in it. And it does. Look at that, screen's even red. Uh, so this looks like iOS, but it is not. Uh, from a dimension standpoint, it is 3.01 inches by 1.56 inches by a pretty thin 0.21 inches. Uh, it's got a 2.5 inch multi-touch screen with a resolution of 240 by 432. That is a 202 PPI. Uh, battery life is going to give you 30 hours of music or 3.5 hours of video. And yes, this guy will indeed play video. Uh, kind of cool for a nano. Previous generation nanos I was not a fan of. It was hard to control. It wasn't any sort of home button. Uh, but you could wear them as a watch. This one though, I don't think it's going to work. Uh, maybe like a giant watch uh, it would. Uh, it would work for. Uh, this is Wi-Fi only. Uh, it does have Bluetooth though, Bluetooth streaming especially, so you can carry this guy in your car and stream right to your stereo, uh, which is a very nice addition now uh, for the iPod Nano. No camera here. Uh, back, there's that same sort of aluminum, can't tell if it's real or not, uh, that we saw in the new generation uh, iPod Touches. On the bottom, that's where your lightning connector is going to live, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the left-hand side, you've got volume up and down, kind of hard to see, but there's also a button in the middle uh, that'll control uh, playback, and also you can launch playlists from there. Let's take a look at the operating system here. It does feel uh, very iOS-ish. Uh, videos, you can now play videos on here. We don't have any. Swipe the right to go back. I can do that. That was miss. There we go. And that will let you go back. Uh, music. It's going to be typical iPod stuff. Just hit the home button and you can also go back. Nike Fitness. I can use my Nike Fuel Band and uh, do something with that, but it is built in. Podcasts. You can go ahead and download podcasts right from here and listen to them. Like Techno Buffalo's own Tech on the Range podcast. It's available every week. You should go ahead and download that. Photos. You can view them on here. But you can't take pictures because it doesn't have a camera. Uh, it does have a FM radio, so you can listen to radio stations. I believe you can get AM signal on there as well. Uh, no app store, though, uh, on here, so you can't download apps or anything else. Uh, clock, you can tell the time. So you could use it as a giant watch if you wanted to. Uh, you've got a stopwatch, and then you've got a countdown timer. We'll go back. Settings, let's see what kind of settings we have. Uh, Bluetooth, general, music, radio, photos, or reset settings. So it's got a physics engine as you move around. It does feel sort of iOS-ish, and it is very smooth. Uh, if you wanted a iPod Touch sort of experience, but you wanted a smaller package, uh, this is going to be a great way to go. It's extremely light. You won't even notice this in your pocket uh, as you're at the gym or running, whatever you want to do. And of course, I'm not going to skip on you because it's flash storage, uh, as everything is uh, nowadays. So this has been an unboxing and first look at the 7th generation iPod Nano. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video.